welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 35, verses 10 to 19. And uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to read verse 10. I'm not going to read all those verses, but let me read verse 10. Let every skillful man among you come and make all that the Lord has commanded. And of course, then there's a listing of all these pieces. Sometimes we just have too much to put into a, what use is it to just read out the list? You can read the list. You don't need me to read the list to you. Well, what about this, uh, especially the, uh, pointing out verse 10, let every skillful man among you come and make all that the Lord has commanded. Um, did you notice that not everybody has the same skill sets? Some people have these skills, some people have those skills, some people have this skill, this skill, and that skill, but not that, not these skills. So God gives out to people opportunities. Some he gives supernatural gifts. Some have skills that are developed just by use. Uh, but anyway, there's people are going to participate now in the building of the sanctuary, uh, and God has people that have skills. What should we do with our skills? You may have skills, and you might say, well, how could the church benefit from my skill? You know, I just do this. Well, uh, you know what? Maybe there is a way. Maybe there's something that God would like to do through your skills. But if you're part of the body of Christ, then God gives you gifts and you may have skills as well. You may have supernatural gifts, and you may just have skills already that can be employed in God's service. So you watch for those things, and uh, because God will call you, God calls you to use your gifts, your skills, your time, your energies for His kingdom. I don't believe that we uh, that the church is just about the pastor or the music worship leaders. Uh, or the officers, you know, it's just the deacons and the elders or the deaconesses or what have you. The church is about every single person. It's a family. It's, a, it's very akin to a family structure. We come together. We worship together. We participate as a group. Sure, there'll be one person giving, you know, usually a message, a, a, a study, one person leading out at a different time in the service. But we are in this together. And so, uh, let's all bring our skills to the table. And as God leads us, let's employ those skills. Notice that here in the construction of the sanctuary, that's exactly what's happening. Different people have different skills. They're all going to be used uh, to construct this holy, holy place for God to dwell, a house for God to dwell with his people. And so because the people are using their own unique skills, giving their different stuff and all this, that people are going to have a real sense of, this is our encampment. God is our God and we are his people. And that builds, helps build that sense of, we're in this together, we're a team, we're in here for God's purposes. So, okay, send, uh, send God and request here and ask him, how, are, would you like me to use my skills for the kingdom, how? Uh, what, what skills do I have that you want to use you want me to employ for the work of God in my part of the vineyard. All right, we'll see you back tomorrow.